Hi, um, in this video I will show how to use app for converting um, XLS files to MDB uh, database files. So, uh, for example, I have this Excel file open on my computer and it has uh, three uh, spreadsheets in it. First is my contacts, my bank info, my, and, and my bank data CSV. And what app will do, it will create MDB file, which is Microsoft Access file with three tables in it, and it will be name of the tables, my contact, but for my bank data CSV. Now it will take first row uh, <clears throat> and create um, fields into this table, and will take all data and put this data into the table. So basically, uh, this is how app uh, will work. Um, in order to download app, I will go to my website. Let me click this. I, can, I will go to my website and find the uh, app uh, I'm looking for, which is XLS to MDB, this one. And we'll click on that page, click on the load button to start process, wait until archive will be downloaded, and we call save, ok, then go to download, click on downloaded archive, double click on the inside inside archive to start installation, click on more info, I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft, you can see publisher unknown. So I'll just click run anyway to start installation, click on next, next install, click on yes here and click on finish and you can see app has been installed on my computer and I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close all windows here, double click on app and um, to launch it, double click on shortcut to launch it. Now. Um, conversion is three steps process. In the first step, we have to select Excel file. I showed you on the beginning of the video that Excel file with three spreadsheets in it. So I'll click on this button to go and open um, my file. It's called My Data XLS. Let's click Open. Click on next step. Here, if first row of your input file has column names, like in my case. I will keep this checkbox checked. If your file doesn't have a um, header, your Excel table doesn't have header with column names, you can uncheck this. In this case, I will create fields for uh, uh, automatically. So it will not use first column as uh, now, if I want to sell, I can convert specific table if I want to. Like, I, you can see I have three spreadsheets, so if I want to convert data only from one spreadsheet, I can select it, and it only this will be converted. But I want to convert all tables into MDB. All tables from Excel will be converted. Now, here, if I want to create new MDB file, I will leave this checked. If I want to append data into inject data into existing database, MDB database, I will select this. Now, um, this is what I want from option screen. I'll click on next step, and on the final step, I'll just click run to start the entire process. Now, um, it's asking me what will be the name of the MDB database, new database, because we remember we select new, so I will type my data MDB, save. Oh, it already exists. I want to replace it. Yes, I want to replace. Override. And you can see if uh, data has been saved. Let's go and see uh, my data MDB. I'll double click on it. I have a MDB viewer. Uh, I forgot to mention this application does not require to have Excel installed or Microsoft Access installed on your computer or Office installed. It, it doesn't require any of that. So I don't have access but I created another app just for viewing MDB files and it's showing me which 
data uh, with which one with tables I can select table and I just can see data to this table immediately and I will leave link on this app too it does not require access installed or office installed it just uh, showing showing the data from uh, MDB file and as you can see all contacts from um, our Excel file has been imported all fields created I can sort by fields all data in there. If you have any questions, please leave them in 